This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com. Fight me, a fearless expression. What are you willing to fight for? And PowerPerformanceProducts.com, where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. I, I would say this is much more personal on a real level. You know, me and Rampage just didn't like to be around each other and didn't, you know, like each other on that standpoint. But we really didn't get know each other. So when you don't like somebody for just like superficial reasons, it's a different kind of dislike when you do really know somebody and uh, and you and you don't like them. How do you feel right now, physically and mentally, Phys for this really important part? Yeah, physically speaking, I feel great. Uh, mentally, I feel great as well. Um, I've been pre preparing for this and uh, gearing up for it in my mind because I knew I knew it'd be I knew it'd be hard to deal with, you know. I, and I can't. I'm not gonna be like John and be like, oh, you know, this is not personal and stuff like that and try to take the personal side away from it, that's not true. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. It, it is personal and it's, it's going to be hard to take the personal side out, but uh, I think I'll be able to do it. John said that he thought your chin is the worst of anybody he fought in 2010. What do you think about that? That's great. I mean, I only got knocked out one time, so I guess, I guess everybody I fought really sucks because <laughs> I got an amazing record for having the worst chin in the world. <laughs> See, it's funny to me. It's like everybody says, oh, I got a weak chin, I got a weak chin, but Anybody else get caught with a shot like Frankie Edgar? He gets caught with a shot and he comes back and he fights. Oh my God, he's iron chin. But I get caught with a couple of shots and I come back and I got a weak chin. I don't know. A lot of people were talking about after that commenting saying he doesn't have the power to hurt you and you do have the power. Well, I mean, I, I believe I definitely got the power. I believe if I catch John with a clean shot, he's going to sleep and he's going he's going down hard. Rashad, how much is the, the breathing techniques that you've learned from Al Fuentes, the visualization, how does that help you, uh, you know, stay calm and, and get prepared for this fight? Um, it helps out a lot. You know, uh, Al, my mental coach, is just, it, it's just one of those things that, that uh, I like to bring into every fight because, you know, it, it's so easy to get pulled off your basis and pulled away from, um, pulled away from yourself and uh, being able to just mentally recenter myself and breathe and get my, everything under, under control. It just keeps me uh, ready to just go. It was it open up a brand new world for you as an athlete to, it, to do that. It has. It's like um, ever since I lost to uh, Machida, I've always brought Al with me, and it always had great results. And it's just about um, you know having a great performance and having a performance that I want to have. You know, you can go in a fight and you can win a fight, but it's it's another thing to go in there and, and compete the way you want to compete. What uh, will you do until tomorrow? Be ready for the um, weekend. Tomorrow, until what, what do I do until tomorrow? Yeah. Well, tomorrow is the beginning of the fight. It's, the, it's really the first punch that's thrown at the weigh-ins, you know? It's like a silent blow. And, um, you know, you, it's the, really the last time I'm going to see my opponent before we fight. So uh, it's going to be pretty intense. So until that time, I'm just going to try to forget about the fight as much as possible. Because the night before the fight, there's going to be plenty of time to think about the fight. And um, the, the more rest I can give myself, the better I'm going to be when it's time to actually think about the fight. How important is that then to have these guys around you helping you keep calm and, and joke around with you as they were doing earlier? It's great to have have a cast of guys that we joke around on and they don't treat me like, you know, like I'm sorry, like I'm something special and everything else like that. And they just, we joke around, we have fun, they, tell, they make fun of me and we just go back and forth. But it is good because I get to take my mind off the fight. And when, when you have all of this, and uh, you know, you're excited in your mind and you know they're excited too. It's easy to talk about the fight. It's easy to be the only thing you talk about. And uh, I've, I've had many fights where um, I've thought about so much and, and it was in my mind so much, but when I actually got into the fight, I was so exhausted that the first punch and I was like, <laughs> and I couldn't breathe, you know what I'm saying? So it's good to just um, wait until the time to open up the fight. I always see you with your headphones on. What are you listening to mostly? Uh, you know, sometimes I listen to a little bit of gospel music. Sometimes I listen to a little bit of old school R&B. But now I, I like to listen to slow music until I get my mind switched over to to listen to something hard. Like if I start listening to hard hip hop, then I'm like in the mood to like get ready to fight. You know, and I'm not. I don't want to get ready to fight yet. Rashad, you uh, there was so much made about your relationship with Greg Jackson. What about your relationship with your new coaches? Talk to us about the yeah. Black Zillions and Henry oh, man. and all those guys. Yeah, I got I got some great relationships with my coaches. You know, Van has been with me ever since Jackson's. You know, he was uh, actually my teammate back in Jackson's, and um, he trained me since the Sean Salmon fight. So it, it's good to have Van because we like brothers. You know, we are definitely like brothers. And but it's, it's everybody at the camp follows that that same energy vibe. You know, like like uh, Mario Sperry is is a one of the best coaches I ever got a chance to train, train with, and he's so cool and relaxed, you know. And uh, Henry Hooth, 
is man like one of one of the best coaches I ever had as well because he's super chill, super relaxed, and they all got different vibes, and they all relate to me in different ways. You know, so we all have our own unique relationships. So it's really good to have those kind of relationships because it makes it easier to train. Because then, when it comes time for me, you know, if they think I'm doing something, they just they just be upfront with me, and they don't treat me like I'm some kind of superstar. They're like, listen, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that, and how are you feeling? And they really they really care. Godspeed and party on.